Hi there. In this video, we will create a JavaScript function to find the longest string from a given array of strings. So sometimes in interviews, you are asked to create a function to find the longest string in an array. So you can see here, we have number of elements in this array and this element is longest, right? So you can see there are multiple elements are there in this array and we need to find the longest array. Again, there is another array and as you can see, this is the longest element in the given array. So we will write down a JavaScript function to find the longest array element in the given array of strings. Okay. So to do that, we need two JavaScript functions. The first is map and the second one is filter. So before that, let's see both the examples. So first of all, we will see map function. Okay. So what map function do? Let's consider one array and we have few elements like 1, 3, 5, 11. Okay. And we need some operation on this given array. So what we'll do, what we will do, result is equal to array dot map and what we will do we will perform some operation on this given array using map method so let's say we have array elements and we call it v and we will perform some operation on each element then v into 3 for example what this syntax will do it will apply this multiplication to each element in this given array. Okay. So if you log this result array, then you can see the result. Okay. We have one other array and you can see 3, 9, 15 and 33. So 3, 9, 15 and 33. So it will apply multiplication on each and every element of this given array. So this is how map function works. Okay. And similarly, we have filter function. So let's say we have one array number. There are few numbers in the array like 1, 3, 5, 10, 44, 89. Okay. And we need to find number of elements less than or you can say greater than 30 okay so you can create a for loop for that as well but in short manner you can use this filter function so let's say we have result okay and we will apply filter function on this array n dot filter in filter Again, we will add one variable, you can say element, okay, and we need one condition that v is greater than 30, okay. So how exactly this condition will work? It will return all the elements from this array which are greater than 30, okay. Let's log this result. And you can see we have two elements 44 89 okay you can also paste 900 and it will be there okay so this is filter function so using this map and filter functions we will create another function that will return the longest element from the given array okay so first of all we will write down a function find longest element or you can say array and we will use arrow method all right let's log this using console.log find longest element and we will pass some array okay let's define array here let's copy this array so we can test 
we have this array okay as you can see constant array as you can see there are multiple elements and this is the longest element which should be as a result we should return as a result okay so what we can do here let's pass our array and first of all we will find the length of the first element okay so let's define one variable let or you can give it okay it, it will be let okay so array of zero dot n and let's see what it is written you can see it should return one the first element's length is one okay there is only one character or you can say only one letter so it will return one okay so this is max variable and now we will use map array dot map here we will have element e and our condition the condition will be math dot max so what we what this max function do it will return the larger of a set of supplied numeric expression okay so we need to pass two values here the first value is max which we already get here and the second value we will get is e dot length so it will look through all these elements of this array and it will return length of each and every element and using map function we will get the maximum length value the maximum length value from this array so here we can assign it assign that value to this max variable okay so now let's again console dot log to max variable you can see now it is 6 because the maximum length of given element in this array is 6 you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay let's change this value add another element or you can say increase and it will be 7 and it will be 8 okay so using this expression we found the maximum length in this given array now we want to find that element okay so we will use filter function for that so array dot filter again same array a filter function will be there again e equal to e dot length double equal to max okay. and let assign that value to some variable now we can simply log this result array Okay, is not defined yeah this is wrong so we need e so now you can see we have this element okay we can simply return this result variable and we got the largest number the largest element of this given array okay let me remove this specific element and we can test it will return this one okay now let me add something else and it should return this value okay so this is very simple first of all you need to find maximum length of the first element of this array okay and using map method we will apply this math.max function to find the maximum length in this given array once you get this value you are assigned that value to max variable and you need to check using filter that in each and every element if length of this given value that we found here is 5 or 6 this one in this case it will be 5 if is it equal to the maximum value this so it will look through all the array elements 
and once we get the maximum value it will assign that value to this result variable okay and we found the correct result okay so let me test with another constant array is equal to let me just copy this and constant array is equal to this array and we should get javascript okay, because this is the longest element in the given array okay. so we gone through this map javascript function as well as filter and using both map and filter you can find the longest element in given array in javascript okay guys that's all for this video guys hope you like this video if you have any question or any suggestions you can leave your comments below if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are multiple videos on javascript node.js wordpress as well as there are few videos on css as well please subscribe to my channel to see more videos and thanks for watching this video see you next time bye